Now the first race of the season over the big obstacles next then it's the best mate novices chase and it's over three miles this one on the top one is Barolo Viking for Martin Leadham Catch Me Ryan Costello Gates of Dawn Leon Van Rensburg Simons Wood or Darren Thompson Toulon Ballard James Shea, Amazing Grace, Joshua Sutherland, James Rose, John Morgan, Junk in the Trunk Ages for David Robertson, Renvile Prospect for Greg Allen, and Sire Arm for Graham Clutterbuck. So just 10 then in this first chase of the season. It's a maiden chase. And uh, they're called in, and away they go then. With Barolo Viking, the first to show as they get to the first of these huge fences. A big ditch to start them off. And Barolo Viking was the one that landed in the lead. And they're already making their way down towards the second of the 18 fences. And Barolo Viking in the lead is pulling for his head already. He's two lengths clear of James Rose. Right over on the far side in second. The fielder nicely packed with the exception of the leader. Who's gone on by about three lengths. And making his way down towards the second of the 18 fences then. So... Quite so many big fields it would seem so far this season in the jumps as they get over the second and then also clear with that one. And Barolo Viking in the lead by about three lengths. It's a short run, two and a third. They're over that one okay as well, although there's one or two mistakes, most notably by the Joshua Sutherland Hall's Amazing Grace, who's now dropped towards the back. Gates of Dawn for Leon Van Rinsburg is just a back marker as they get to the fourth, which is another plain one. And they're all safely over that one and coming up past the stands then with another couple of circuits to go and Barolo Viking is in the lead and cheered on by the assembled throng leads by about three and a half lengths to James Rose in second right on the track in that turquoise jacket with a yellow cap of John Morgan then Siram for Graham Clutterbuck is third the rest of them pretty much in a line with the exception of Gates of Dawn who's just the tail end Charlie at this stage and being pulled into the rail it would seem as they take that right hand turn and go out onto the back Straight with Barolo Viking, the leader by a good three lengths to James Rose second, Siram is third, then Rinvile Prospect is after that one. They're pretty tightly grouped, the chasers, but the front two are putting some pace to the race at the moment. They're all jumping nicely at the moment. Barolo Viking in the lead then by a good two lengths to James Rose in second as we just have a look through some trees for a second or two and the leader going a little bit too quick for the cameraman again and leads by a couple as they take that ditch that is an enormous looking ditch but it looks pretty soft as well so a little bit forgiving so Barolo Viking then leads by two to James Rose in second as they take the seventh and they're all safely over that one as well with drunk, junk in the trunk ages and just about the back marker and the leading pair swinging along nicely in front with Barolo Viking over that ditch in the lead from James Rose in second. An amazing grace record from that early mistake is just about showing third from Toulon Ballard. Then Catch Me and on the inside of that one, Renvile Prospect. Then Gates of Dawn get a little bit closer. Simons Wood is on the outside. And Siram has just dropped back a little bit. And the grey just poking his head into shot. His junk in the trunk ages. It's just about the back mark of it. So a mile and a half still to go. And it's Barolo Viking who gets to the ninth in the lead and gets over it nicely. They're all jumping well, these novices. And Barolo Viking and James Rose probably got a good five lengths of the rest of them as they take number 10. A uh, bit of a mistake there by Toulon Ballard for James Shea. That one's now just dropping back through the pack a little bit as they race downhill towards the next fence. And Barolo Viking shows the way by about two lengths to James Rose in second. Moving to a clear third now is Amazing Grace. Going to go and try and join the leading pair, I think, as they race up past the stands again with one more circuit of this Taunton track to go. And Barolo Viking will have led past the winning post twice. Can he make it three times and make it count? It's James Rose in second. Amazing Grace is third and then Siram is four, Simons Wood is now moving up around the outside, but they're virtually in a line, aren't they? The rest of the field apart from the front three, and it's Barolo Viking, James Rose and Amazing Grace. Gap on a good four or five lengths then to Simons Wood, who just about heads the chasing pack. Renvile Prospect is now dropped to the back, trying to give Craig Allen a one, two, three in the first three races, but it's Barolo Viking who leads still by about a length and a half to James Rose in second and Amazing Grace in third. These three are a good five clear of the rest of them as they come down the fence. Number 12, bit of a slow jump there by James Rose. Has seen Amazing Grace jump into second, but Barolo Viking is still jumping well in front. Barolo Viking then 
in the lead still by about a length and a quarter there to Amazing Grace in second. James Rose is third. Gap back to Simons Wood with a chasing back are getting closer as they get over that ditch and they're all over that one nicely as well with Barolo Viking in the lead still. Amazing Grace Jock has to look around and see where the rest of them are as they take the 14th. Another slow jump by James Rose. Running on from the pack is Simons Wood when they've got to get past this Barolo Viking who is repelling Raiders at the moment. Barolo Viking leads by a length and a half. Amazing Grace is now just being scrubbed along as they take this ditch. That's the 15th over that one they go and also coming out of the pack now junk in the trunk ages has come from the back into fourth but it's barolo viking in the lead from amazing grace in second james rose is third then junk in the trunk ages and simon's wood is probably between these although renvile prospect and gates of dawn from big stables are trying to run on barolo viking still too clear then with three furlongs to race it's barolo viking in the lead but look at this junk in the trunk ages making ground on the outside it's barolo viking junk in the trunk ages chasing amazing grace over the third last they go and now Barolo Viking is being collared by Amazing Grace and Junk in the Trunk Ages Junk in the Trunk Ages is just going to land in the lead I think Junk in the Trunk Ages the grey takes it up from Amazing Grace in second Barolo Viking third Simons Woods running on James Rose is getting a second win they race down towards the final fence then and Amazing Grace has regained the lead it's Amazing Grace now beginning to pull away by two three lengths it's Amazing Grace in the lead Junk in the Trunk Ages is second James Rose is running on in third so too Gates of Dawn but up towards the line it's Amazing Grace that takes it Amazing Grace is the winner, drunk in the trunk ages, then James Rosen gates the door, and then Barolo Viking and Renvile Prospect, and the field will trail back to catch me. And the first novice chase of the season sees all the field get round, and a thrilling finish. Amazing Grace made a really bad mistake early on, but recovered well. And that's the first one on the board for Joshua Sutherland trying to get his title back. So Amazing Grace takes it for Joshua Sutherland. Junk in the trunk ages for David Robertson was second. James Rose for John Morgan third. Gates of Dawn for Leon van Rensburg was fourth. And Renvile Prospect for Craig Allen was fifth.